Hey there, Meg's here. How's everyone doing today? Oh, I have so much to show you guys. I missed you. How are you? So, today I thought I would come to you and show you guys some recent purchases that I made off of Etsy and share these wonderful shops with you guys. I have some really good ones. And then um, a few other things that I purchased on clearance a while back and never showed. Um, and yeah, so I'll just get started. Um, in no particular order, let me grab these. Oh my gosh, let me show you guys this. Sorry about the glare, still in the kitchen. <laughs> so I need the overhead light so I can barely see in the camera. I'm just going to try to cover up the glare and stuff. Okay, have you guys ever had these? <laughs> I'm like starving right now and these are my go-to snack. They are so stinking amazing. Now, I'm not saying they're healthy. They're definitely not healthy or fat-free. But they're not too bad. There's only six ingredients in them. Coconut, coconut sugar, cashews, cocoa powder, and this particular one because it's chocolate, and um, flour and sea salt. And I'm telling you guys, if you like cashews, these are amazing because... Most of the time when you get a coconut flavored like food, it's like coconut's really overpowering and not in this. This tastes like it just melts in your mouth. Okay, this video isn't about this. I'm just, I love food. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so with that food intro, let's move along. <laughs> okay, so the first shop I want to share with you is one, this is something I got a year ago and I still haven't used it and I'm hoping to use it very soon. Um, this shop's name is Flans. Now please excuse my handwriting. It's horrible and I also wrote this in the living room. It was kind of dark in there. Everyone's sleeping. But I wanted you to see how to spell it, how they write it on the Etsy. You know, um, most of you know when you go on Etsy it's a real pain in the tuchus to search things because if you don't write it exactly how their shop is written, you will not find that shop, okay? Unless you go to a link on YouTube and click, you know, and get in there. But it is such a pain in the butt. Anyways, this is, Flans isn't actually an easy one because they're very well known. It's spelled with a lowercase and then just like that. So... Let me tell you a little bit about the shop. Flans is from New Zealand. Um, the shop is amazing. And I was reading about the shop and I wrote little notes here. I jotted them down. Um, and they have some amazing products. They're paper products like stickers, um, 6x6 papers. Oh, that glare is super bad, isn't it? Okay. Um, hopefully that's good. 6x6 papers. Um, <clears throat> Things to for like junk journaling or um, collaging, decoupage, stuff like that. On their website, they say, which I didn't know this before, they have a lifetime warranty on all of their products. Meaning, if something happens to your product, they sell stamps, a lot of stamps. Like say if the stamp is ripped or something, you can send it back and they will refund it for a lifetime. That is amazing, right? And they're amazing prices. It's $2.99 for shipping, and they combine their shipping. So if you buy more than one product, it's $2.99. I believe. That's that's what I read, and I think I read that right. Um, and even though they say, even though we are far away, our items should come within the same week most of the time. That is really awesome. And I don't remember, because I got mine before I knew they were on Etsy. I bought mine from Amazon. And so you can go to Amazon and buy them, but with the combined shipping on Etsy, it's way better to go to Etsy and buy from there, because as we know, Amazon... Well, no, actually, yeah, sorry. They are not Prime on Amazon. So even if you have Prime, you'll have to pay for shipping for each item on on Amazon. So, buy it from Etsy. <laughs> okay, so I bought a bunch of Flower Fairy stuff a while back because I'm doing a Flower Fairies journal someday. I mean, I got this stuff when Flower Fairy, everybody doing junk journals was doing a fairy journal. You know, everybody goes through these. It seems like um, there's like a wave of the same thing going on most of the time. 
and like vintage and junk journals it seems to be popular all the time um but a while back ago it was like everybody was doing the fairies some kind of fairy not necessarily flower fairy um but yeah I never made one so I still have to make one <laughs> um so yeah these are basically little look how cute these are and I hope the light's okay I had to take that glare off Let's see if I can get it back a little bit nope the glare is too bad Okay, well, I'm just going to pray that it's good, and we'll see. I'm sure it'll be okay. So, this is what it looks like, and it's just like a little tear apart. So pretty. Look at these images. They are just adorable. I'm obsessed with flower fairies. Um, Mary Cicely Barker, I believe. Or is it the other way around? Cicely Mary Barker? I can't remember the name of the artist. Of course, I should remember, but... She was like, um, or she or he, I don't know if it's a he or she, but um, they were an artist from, I want to say the early 1900s. I'm not sure. So, yeah, but they're really, really beautiful images and um, there's like a bunch of flower fairies books and things like that so I have like postcards and um, I have some flower fairy books and um, I have beautiful flower fairy fabric so that was the first one and then we have gosh I haven't been in this in a long time this is going to go on a junk journal this year for sure when I do a Christmas um, journal Again, sorry about the glare. Isn't that adorable? It's just one piece. Let me take it out of this plastic. And it's kind of like a lightweight, so it will glue on really nicely. That is just so precious. And I don't know if these are still in the shop. Like I said, this is um, from a year ago. It says, made in Germany. Oh, I hope that wasn't from a different shop. <laughs> I'm going to be so embarrassed. <laughs> Let me check this out, because that says made in 100% made in Germany on this, and they're from New Zealand, so it might be two separate shops. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, only this piece is from a different shop. I'm so sorry. This is not from them. I forgot I got this from Germany, um, so take that back, and I have no idea where it came from, so I'm sorry about that. I put it in the same package. Okay, but these are definitely from Flans. These are how the stickers come. These are so cute. Miss Ann, do you see this if you're watching? Give me a shout out. Sticker love, sticker love, sticker love. Love my stickers. <laughs> Miss Ann from A Colorful Life, she loves her stickers. Every time I see her stickers, I'm like, I love flans, I love flans. They're a great shop because I know she shops there too. Yeah. And I've, like I said, I've had these for over a year and never used them yet. Look how pretty they are. And that's a, they come off really easily. And they're really clear images. Very beautiful. I absolutely love them. That's my hand up next to it. So they're a few inches. So pretty. And then, I don't want to make a huge mess. Let me slide that back in. We have another one. I mean, I could never use all of these in one journal. I'd have to make a hundred Flower Fairies journals. <laughs> Look at how cute these are. I was, when I was pregnant with my guy, my youngest guy, I really thought he was going to be a girl, so I started collecting all this Flower Fairy stuff. Um, I have like this, I found this vintage Flower Fairies original um, album, like a photo album. And I was like, oh, I'm going to put her pictures in it. <laughs> but I ended up having a boy. So I didn't use that. That's up in the closet. Make a nice gift for somebody. <laughs> and then these are cool. This is, is this a sticker sheet? Let me, hold on, let me check. I can't remember. Um, I'm sorry. I just want to be correct. 
I don't know if these are circle stickers or just ephemera. Yep, it's a, nope, it's not. It's just, nope. So this is not a sticker sheet. This, these are just circles, circle prints. Get that light down here for just a second. Yep, these are just circle prints. And so, yeah, but they come out very clear and beautiful. You can just punch those out if you have a circle punch that's that big. Or you can, you know, you'd have to fussy cut it. But how cute would, is that to make, you know, on ephemera, you can put these on anything, you know, make tags or, um, <clears throat> excuse me, you know, put them on an envelope, make all kinds of ephemera with these. So yeah, that's just my little share. I have to keep moving the light because I don't want to blind you guys with the glare. Um, da, 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 da. So these were like three dollars each. Yep. So these, all of these, um, I think these were like three dollars each. So three, three, three. They might be a little less than that. Now on Etsy, I think. So that's that. Let's see if there's any more in here. Oh, it looks like there's more. Oh, nope, this is just more fairy stuff. I was looking everywhere for this guy like two days ago, and I couldn't find him anywhere, and that's where he is. I went unicorn crazy, you guys. My, um, I'll have to show you. When I'm done, the reason I didn't do it on camera at well is because I didn't know what I was doing, and it was hard. Oh, there's one more. But I'm, anyways, I was make, I'm making an album a mini album and it's a unicorn mini album and I never thought I was going to do anything unicorn um, themed because it's just not really my style I mean I think unicorns are great but it's just not my thing um, but um, yeah I, I went and got you have to see all the unicorn stuff I got so much I got buttons, appliques, stickers, washi tape um, Unicorn sequence, oh my gosh, everything unicorn, I mean it, like for real. And a bunch of little wooden pieces for this one tiny little album. I couldn't even fit all this stuff in it if I wanted to, but my cousin, her daughter is five and she's had a unicorn birthday and I printed off all kinds of pictures of them and I'm going to make them an album and fill it with it, all the pictures because they're so special to me and I just love them so much. I was really close with my cousin growing up. So these are some more, um, <laughs> that little story you probably do not care about. So I got these before I got all my other ephemera that I have now, Flower Fairies ephemera. This is from Flans, again. And, uh, no, are these, now I can't remember, gosh, so much for this video being professional. <laughs> now I can't remember if these are Flans or not. Yeah, I believe these are. I believe these are flans. Now, I can't 100% promise they are, but I believe they are. So, these are just little piece of papers, little cards. They're not sticker. They're just little cards. Little prints, just like if you were going to print off, you know, um, a digital, you know, that's what these are. And aren't they just adorable? Oh, I could just look at these all day. This is right up my alley. I just love these vintage, you know, these were originally paintings, you know. Or drawings in a book, rather. Illustrations in a book, rather. I think some of them might have been paintings. And then, what is this? Alice in Wonderland sticker book has nothing to do with anything I'm showing you. <laughs> So that was the first shop. Again, that's Flans. So the next shop we have, let me just move this out of the way. Getting into it is, what do I have behind me? Okay. Then I have this here for the glare. I think I told you that. Okay. Three insistent dogs. Okay, here we go with my handwriting again. Let's see if we can get it to focus. So it's all one word. The only capitals are the T and three, the I, insistent, and D and dogs. Again, one word. I know my writing sucks. So three insistent dogs. Let me grab a little drink real quick. 
Um, and I learned about this shop from Gail Agostinelli. The name, the owner of the shop's name is Mary Peterson, I believe, or Patterson. I can't remember 100%. Um, she was showing her papers, Gail was, that um, Mary sent her. And I, even though I make my own coffee dyed paper, I could not resist because I'm obsessed with coffee dyed paper and I feel like you can't have enough of it. So on the order, it was for 30 pieces of coffee dyed paper and she sent me a, a whole bunch of other things, okay? So that is the first awesome thing. Look at these patterns. Can you get a load of this? Oh yeah, that's too bright. I'm so sorry about the light, everybody. I always have to apologize for something, don't I? But look at this. I'll get out of the kitchen soon enough and back into the studio. It's just trashed right now, and I just have no room to put anything, put the camera and all that, until I clean it up. Look at these. I mean, look at how beautiful, front and back. You see the beautiful pattern? Now, I do coffee dyeing, and I get patterns, but I get no I have nothing like this. Look at that. It's so perfect. Like, it's just perfect. And it smells so good. <laughs> so, it was for $30, for $10. And I know how much work goes into making coffee dyed paper. It takes a minute. So, that's a good deal, if you ask me. And the quality of what she's sending you and look at that and the variety look at oh it's well worth ten dollars trust me trust me look at the tags that she put on there and that beautiful lace are you getting a load of that gorgeous and then the pink on the back oh stunning now, I could go through all of these. I'm just going to do a little flippy flip because you know how long my videos get. Oh my gosh, I haven't even seen this one. Look at that. The detail. Now, I have not mastered this either. I know Gail said that on her video. I have not mastered this technique. I have not either, Gail. Um, which she'll probably never see this, so I'm talking to nobody. But... <laughs> uh, I, I'm talking to you guys. I have not mastered this yet. <laughs> to be able to make it so perfect is just an art. And Mary, you have definitely perfected that art. Look at this. It looks like it's blurred out, like out of focus almost. You can't really get it on the camera, but in person it's got like this blurred effect. Stunning. And see these are different sized papers. So now these are the large papers. I don't know what this measures. It looks like it's about, well, it looks about 13 or 14. I don't know. It's pretty long. By maybe eight, eight and a half. Beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Ooh, ah. <laughs> Ooh, ah. Yes. So, head over to Mary's shop buy some paper that's not all she has she has I believe that she has let me see on my notes if I wrote it down I'm sorry one second let me see <clears throat> I didn't write it down I think that she has digitals I think she does um, but I, I don't know what else she has in her shop I, I went straight for the paper I told myself I wasn't buying more stuff but then I saw this and you know how it goes <clears throat> and then these are the so this is what I bought the stack and then it came first of all can I just tell you it came packaged so perfectly I mean ridiculously perfectly it was in this big bag tight but nothing has bent at all and then she had it wrapped up in this oops I'm sorry um, wrapped up in this nice and tight then packaged again and on the package in a big old sticker that says you better not bend this or else no it didn't it said you know do not bend or you know mess me up because I'm important 
and nothing got damaged and it came very quickly these are all the extras she put in there so there's these tags so these were all just little freebies that she included oh look at that so beautiful gosh I wonder if she used stencils or the um, little mats and then some tags. These are large tags. That's me. Nice thick man manila tags. Very nice. And then a couple of little note cards. Beautiful. Head over to Three Insistent Dogs. And I know there's. Oh, look it. She put this on the package too. Is oh, I have a um, marker on my finger. Ignore that. Is that not darling? It's a little bulb pen, and I don't know where she got this, but it is adorable. I have never seen anything like that. So cute. It's like little fringies hanging down. So cute. And I'm. this will go perfectly in my sewing journal because it's pink and yellow, and that's just so cute. So, so that is just a wonderful, wonderful find. Okay. Let me move these. I do not want to wrinkle them or damage them, so let me get them out of the way. Okay, this one is one I am super excited to share with you guys. This is like one of my favorites here. So this is, oh god, I wrote it so bad now that I'm in the light. Memes Thrift Thriftique, okay? I know that doesn't probably sound... Look how bad that's written. It looks like a four, four-year-old wrote it. Memes Thriftique. Capital M, all one word. M-E-E-M-S-T-H-R-I-F-T-I-Q-U-E. Memes Thriftique. Oh my gosh. So the name, the owner of the shop, her name is Karen... I believe her last name, oh, I hope I didn't just show that on camera. <laughs> I believe her last name is Ferrado. Yeah, so, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but her name is Karen. And so, Memes of Teague, let me see what she, what she has to offer here. So, first of all, let me say, Karen and I have been kind of chatting back and forth on the Etsy and um, Messenger I don't even remember what started it. I have so much going on, but it's been such a joy talking to her. Um, I know she's going to watch this video because she said she was. So hi, Karen. <laughs> I love this order. Let me just show you what I got. So basically this shop is like a little thrift store, okay, which I'm obsessed with thrift stores, right? It's like a vintage haven, if you will. She sells little golden books. Reader's Digest books. Oh, I'm sorry. I hope I didn't show that. I keep forgetting that there's address on here, and I really hope that I didn't just show that to everybody. Um, little Golden Books, Reader's Digest books. She has readers, uh, all you, um, sorry, I got thrown off by worrying if I showed her address or not. <laughs> um, if you like Reader's Digest books for junk journaling, she has them, above, I don't know how many she has left, but um, it looked like she had quite a few for three fifty a piece, and they are in great condition. So vintage Reader's Digest books. She has vintage little golden books. She has um, other vintage books. She has this really cool Braille paper, like um, I think she coffee dyed it too, which is really cool. And then I got, and she has some like um, laces and trims. She has some ephemera packs. I know she has game cards and things like that. So it's just really awesome thing. She has a lot of needlepoint items in her shop, all vintage stuff. So I was just happened to come across her shop and I saw a Raggedy Ann junk journal kit. First of all, this is the first junk journal kit I've ever bought. Exciting, right? Second of all, I have been looking for a stinking Raggedy Ann junk journal kit for like a year, okay? And I am stoked. I remember I saw one on, um, the Rebookery had one 
had a few of them, and I sat overnight waiting for her to post them, because you know everything in her shop goes so quickly, and I waited all night, they popped up, I went to order, and somebody bought it, and I like almost cried. <laughs> this is a, I've never seen one of these in my life, a cloth little golden book. I didn't even know these existed, okay? Look at this, it's in gorgeous condition, it's this thick cloth, and it's just stunning. I am obsessed with this. Um, let's see, 1972, and look at how clean it is. It does say on here that it wipes clean, so they must have made like a little series of these. I've never even seen these. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever heard of the cloth, uh, the little uh, golden cloth book, if you ever heard of these, because I never heard of them. And um, it got my curiosity popping, and I was looking everywhere for these, and I couldn't find any more. So, she finds good stuff, you guys. Um, yeah, so pop over, like, if there's something that um, you're looking for, I think Karen is the one to probably ask, or to, you know, put, you know, message her and say, hey, look, I'm looking for this vintage so-and-so and so-and-so, whatever. And see if she can find one, because she finds good stuff. Um, she has a keen eye for vintage flair. And I believe that she is crafty herself and that she makes stuff too. If I'm not mistaken, um, let me say, let me see. She's uh, Mid Middleton, Ohio is where she's from. She ships with U.S. Priority with tracking. Let's see what else she has there. I know her shop says she's from, uh, she started her shop in 2010. I believe through our conversation that she just restarted her shop again. So you should go show her some love because I'm sure that's not easy. You know, especially Etsy nowadays, trying to get people to find your shop is what I heard is the hardest thing. I don't have an Etsy shop, but, um, so yes, if you, I've been on Etsy day and night for years and I've never seen her shop before, um, so I'm just so thrilled that it came across. And she put extra stuff in the kit that was not on the listing. So that was just brilliant and beautiful. And I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart so much. So look at these little cloth cutouts. I mean, this is perfect raggedy and stuff. The reason I wanted to get all a raggedy and junk journal kit, um, one of my big sisters, I have three of them, darling, and one of them, I remember when I was little, my big sister used to read me Raggedy Ann. Um, our mom passed away, and there was a book, I believe it was from my mom, and my sister used to read it to me. Oh, that is so cute. You could tell it's vintage, you know. Oh, these are so darling. And um, one year, I remember my sister dressing up. Halloween was a big deal to us because we didn't have a lot of money, and... Um, my sister used to make my costumes. All my sisters pitched in and made my costumes every year. They were quite funny. I remember being a California raisin once, <laughs> and my sister um, dressed me up, but she took a bean bag apart because we had a purple bean bag that we weren't using, and it just fit over me perfectly, and they turned it into a California raisin. I wish I could find the pictures. Just my feet popped out the bottom. <laughs> Oh, it's a darling. And I remember her dressing up as Raggedy Ann one year, and I just thought it was amazing. And she was like my hero. She looked just like Raggedy Ann. And she made me, or she got me a Raggedy Ann doll when I had my appendix out when I was little. I was sick in the hospital. And um, yeah, just really good memories with Raggedy Ann. And uh, I just want to make her a book for Christmas. I think she would be blown away, and she would just love it, I think. So. You know, I really think that would be special. Look how cute. Look at all of these things. I might I add, I paid $15 for this kit, okay? And there's just a ton of stuff in here. So look at this vintage trim. It's gorgeous. You can tell these are vintage, too. I don't even know where I left off, but this beautiful red. I don't have anything else that's raggedy in at all. So before I make the book, which I want to do it on camera, I really want to do a book on camera, it's been so hard. I've been on here for weeks and I haven't done hardly any crafting on camera, which is the point of my channel, right? <laughs> One of the points. It all matters, I guess. Um, I don't remember if these were on the listing or not either, but these are darling. Look. 
how cute are these little bows? Oh, they're upside down. <laughs> Aren't those adorable? So they've got little bows and this cute little bag that you can reuse. And this little trim is beautiful. Oh, it's a lot of trim. Beautiful. Beautiful. Just love it. And there's a, so much here, you guys. I, I need to get a move on. Look at that um, seam binding. That's vintage seam binding, I can tell. <laughs> I love crinkled seam binding. I'm obsessed with seam binding. And I need to go get some more from the the um, scrap box that I go to. It's what it's called. It's like a huge warehouse. I've told you guys about it before. And um, they have vintage seam binding, just buckets of it, for 20 cents, brand new, with the dates on them. They're like 1964, 1972. Brand new for 20 cents. It's just unbeatable. Look at this. Oh, it's so cool. Just all this vintage fabric. You can smell the vintage. I know I'm weird, but I love that. I love the smell of old stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about if you get vintage stuff. It has, it all has that same smell. And I love it. It's not a bad smell, so I'm not saying that. <laughs> Karen stuff does not smell, you guys, so don't even go there. Look at this. This looks like it's coffee dyed, or it's just dirty, which I'm okay with. <laughs> just, that is beautiful. Vintage, vintage. Now this is really cute. That just screams Raggedy Ann, doesn't it? I'm not going to open all these. You can see how cute they are. I just want to get a move on, but I still want to show how beautiful. Ooh, more vintage seam binding. That is pretty. It's lace seam binding. Oh, look at that. That's some of my favorite kind of lace is this. Um, and now I just forgot what it's called. Um, oh, gosh. You know because I can't remember. <laughs> Look at that. So pretty. And this is perfect. It's a ribbon, looks like. Yeah, beautiful. So perfect. And there's more. There's more, you guys. Unbelievable. I didn't even see this. Look at this. Oh, little cute. It's handmade. So cute. And she included some napkins which is awesome because I have no red and white. I don't ever usually buy red stuff. It's just the the primary colors for some reason. I never buy like the reds, the, the, the blues. But for this, you know, primary colors are what's going to be in the book. So it's nice to get all this fabric. And I love these long bags. I love these because I make these into pockets, you know, in my junk journal. And then this whole pack, this whole entire pack, a vintage fabric. That is incredible for the amount of money that I paid for this. Look at this. Good big chunks of this vintage fabric. I'm not sure if it's all vintage, but it a lot of it looks like, most of it looks like it is. Oh, that's cool. The jean. I love that. Little pockets. Oh, cool. That's perfect. I won't even know what how I'm going to decide what to do with all this, but I'm seeing a lot of little snippets in my um, future. Lots of snippets and um, fabric flips for the journal, fabric pockets. It's going to be a lot of fabric in the book, and I love that when people, oh, that's a big chunk. That's a lot. That Oh, I love the frayed edges. Oh. So she also had this Raggedy Ann vintage Raggedy Ann book and I wanted it so bad. It just so happens at the time of ordering this I had already ordered from the next shop I'm going to show you and um, oh look one more look at these cards I can't wait to alter the backs of them or alter the front and then have a paper on the back to journal, so journaling cards, or it can be like a alter the whole thing, um, just show the word, alter all the rest, and make it like a um, um, a bookmark. Gosh, <laughs> so cool! Or you can just cut this out, use this piece for something else, make it into cut the sides, make this into a big tag. Yeah, definite tags in my future too. Very nice, and I don't know if she drew this on here or what. Looks like she might have, and that's definitely coffee dyed. 
Look at how sweet. A little thank you. Look how beautiful her writing is. And I, <clears throat> I wrote like a second grader in this little fabric. Oh, that is so cute. Darling. So, Karen is her name. Memes Thriftique. Definitely go over there. Get something from her. Show her some love. Hit the heart. <laughs> for favorite shop. Because, you know... When you're starting out all over again, because I think she said she's reopening, like I, I was saying, reopening her shop, that's not easy, you know. Especially in that vast world of Etsy. It's huge. But we got your back, Karen. <laughs> you are amazing. And she, if you have any questions at all, you can contact her. Um, this, she literally sent this in the mail. I think she sends twice a week. She sent this the next day. It came within two days. I got this within two days. I didn't, I don't even think it was close to three days. It was like, I ordered it and it was here. So I'm just going to set this aside because I want to put it back all nice and neat. So I was saying, um, I, I'm always saying something, huh? <laughs> that I um, don't have any other Raggedy Ann stuff and I wanted that book that she has in her shop um, so bad but I ordered from another shop that I'm about to show you and I spent a lot of money and so I had it in my cart and I took it out first of all because of the money it wasn't expensive but I'm trying really hard to hold back you guys because we are selling our home and moving into hopefully our forever home we bought this house 10 years ago, and um, we knew when we bought our house that it wasn't going to be our forever home. It's our starter home. Um, we really put a lot of money, time, blood, sweat, and tears into this house, and we have um, we had an appraiser come, and we have over it appraised for more than double what we bought it for. Yes, so it is time to go. We have outgrown the house, and um, yeah, our kids are in our face 24-7. <laughs> We need more room, you know, so we're hoping by this time next year we're going to be moving into another home. So with that being said, you know, I'm trying to settle down on buying stuff and it's so hard. You know how it is if you do this kind of stuff. It's like you see these wonderful, beautiful things and you're like, I have to have it, just that one. It's not expensive, but it adds up, you know, it adds up. So I put it back, and then the other thing was, the book was so intact, so beautiful, so vintage. I just, I can cut up vintage books and make use of the book. I have no problem with that, and I do it often. And I think it's a good thing to do. You're repurposing, you're giving it life, especially if it's sitting on a shelf and nobody's looking at it, you know. You're going to give it life and and bring something to that book, reinvent it. But this one, you guys, I just couldn't do it. <laughs> I couldn't cut into that book. I would sat here and looked at it over and over and over again, and that's what it would have been, a beautiful book that I looked at sometimes. And that's okay, but I don't have money for that right now. <laughs> so, um, where's the other package? Uh, but, <sighs> I did a bad thing tonight. I was scrolling on eBay, which is not a good thing to do when you're trying to save money. And I found a lot. You're going to understand when I tell you how much it's for. For five little golden books, Raggedy Ann, vintage, 1970s, pristine condition, no marks in any of the pages, no rips, no tears, beautiful, all Raggedy Ann books, little golden books. Tomorrow's the last day of bidding, and it was up to $4, okay? I'm sorry, but that is a steal to me, and I bid, and I have the highest bid at 425 right now, and I'm just crossing my fingers that all the other people forgot, because it was like a 10-day thing, <laughs> and um, I'm hoping I win, let's just say that, so I can have more Raggedy and stuff, but otherwise it'll just be put on hold for a little while. Okay, so, uh, I know I talk a lot, you guys, I can't help it, I was born that way. Um, the next shop is, let me get my notes, and I wrote this in the dark again, I had to erase it, so I hope you can see that good, Wawa Stationery, I love this shop, so it's capital 
capital W, lowercase a, capital W, lowercase a, capital S, lowercase t a t i o n a r y, all one word, Wawa Stationery. Now Wawa, the owner of the shop, is out of New York. Okay, it is a stationery shop with a billion different things. Just to put it in perspective, the shop was opened in 2018, and there's already like three, like. 3,760 something sales. That's incredible. Okay, in one year. Not, I mean, that's incredible. You get 10% off of six or more items and free shipping if you get six items, or it might be free shipping if you get it's four or six items. So I got 10% off and I got free shipping. Um, she does combine shipping, or no, she doesn't, sorry. But um, let's see. I don't know actually. You get free shipping um, if you spend $35 or more. That's what it is. Free shipping if you spend $35, and it's 10% off if you buy six items or more. There you go. And my shipping was only $270 before I got it free, so that wasn't a lot at all. I went a little crazy. <laughs> I got quite a few things. So if you love stickers, you love stationery, you love, um, yeah, like stuff to put in your junk journals, this is the, a great place. A lot of this stuff looks like it's the kind of stuff that's on like AliExpress and all that kind of stuff, but um, in fact, I found a couple of these things on Amazon for cheaper, I'm not going to lie, but I still love the shop and I didn't cancel my order because it wasn't, excuse me. I knew I was going to cough. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Let me get a sip. I'm talking too much. Um, so anyways, but um, I couldn't find this particular stuff, so I'm, I'm glad I found it here. <clears throat> so the first thing I got was I really want to do a mushroom journal, and their stamp, her stamps are so cheap, because you know stamps can be expensive. These were like five bucks, you guys. Look at this. Look at these stamps. They are awesome. You get all of these little stamps. The light sucks. I'm going to take it out so I can put the light on it. So the glare doesn't happen. <clears throat> Boy. Oh, it's still in the plastic. Okay, hold on. Let's see if we can do some light here. Still glare. Okay, um, I guess not. Okay, so anyways, this is the stamp set. You can see that. So you get all these little stamps. There's the... Um, I wanted something that had this because I'll show you in a minute. I'll show you in a minute for stamps. Because I don't have anything with these on them. And then all these are just extras to me. So very cute. There's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There's like 15 or 16 little stamps on here for 5 bucks. That's the first one. This is this. Oh, ouch. <laughs> it's a catastrophe over here. Calamity Jane. Jeez Louise. I wanted something with writing. Um, something like this. Sorry about the glare. Oh my gosh, I just can't get it right in this kitchen. What a mess. Okay, that's a little better. <laughs> um, so yeah, see this, like, cursive? I wanted that so I can do, like, light stamps of the cursive writing on my ephemera. But it comes with all of these cute little sayings. Very cute. It's better to be alone than to be with someone you're not happy with. I don't know if I'll use that one, but... <laughs> Some of them, I don't know what they're even saying, but I just wanted the cursive writing, really. Um, like this, for that light cursive stamps, you know. So yeah, anyways, and then this one is the one I'm really in love with. Look at the mushrooms. Five bucks. It might be five seventy or five sixty or something, but I think that's a good deal. Look at these cute mushrooms, and these are big enough that you can color in with your um, brush pens or watercolors or markers. Very fun. 
very cute. And she has a ton of those. Tons of different stamps. Tons and tons. I was going to print off some labels, but I don't feel like driving all the way to Staples. It's not right next to my house, so I just bought some from her. Isn't that cute? You can use this in something, this picture. That is cute. Like a piece of ephemera. So I got these little labels, these vintage labels. They're on like a craft color um, thing, and I think these are stickers if I'm not mistaken. Stickers, yeah. So these are stickers, but they're not shiny on the back, so you could use them just like staple them or glue them on if you don't like using stickers. I don't know why I'd even say that. Why would you glue if there's a sticker? <laughs> but yeah, all different shapes and sizes. Very cute. Can't wait to use these. And she has all different kinds of labels. All different kinds. I just picked up this one. The one I wanted was sold out, but this is the second one in line, so um, I love that one too. This one I was excited about. These are more stickers. Pretty sure everything I got was stickers, yeah. <laughs> these are awesome. So these are, they're called deco stickers. So they're like little, oh, where's my white paper? Hold on. Looks like um, they're ripped from, there we go. That's kind of a weird light. This alt light's weird. Okay. So yeah, you can see it's got like some writing on it, like cursive print. And then it looks like a ripped piece of paper on the edges. And it does have like white around it, but you could just ink it or cut, fussy cut it off. But they're like a washi type sticker. And I just thought that was so cute because it looks like torn paper around the edge. And there's all different kinds, so... Oh, I don't like that light. Ah! Can't wait to get back in my studio! It's gonna be so great. Okay. Ooh, I love these. I mean, yes, you could just rip off book pages, but it's still cool to have it in like a, that see-through washi type. So there's like little book page. Um, that is so cool. I love these. And these were not expensive. They were a few bucks. So, yes. Look at all these. And there's a lot in here. I don't remember how many. This many. <laughs> this is this many. <laughs> yeah. Let's see some of the bigger ones. Oh, cool. I haven't looked at these. Hello, it says. Forgive me for needing... I can't read it you in my life. Forgive me for enjoying the beauty of your body and soul. Forgive me for wanting to be with you when I grow old. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. I need glasses so bad. That's adorable. Most of these are illegible, not illegible, but it's just writing you can't really read. I guess that would be illegible. Is that the word? Is that a word that sounds wrong? No, I'm pretty sure it's a word, yeah. See that clear, shiny sticker on the back? So it gives it that washy look. So these are just adorable. I love that. It's like the corner of a page. I will just die if I record all this and then you can't see anything. <laughs> I'll die. Look at that. So cute. Ooh, that's like a gray like the gray. And then these different torn shapes. I'll definitely fussy cut around here because I want that edge that's like ripped. Or actually I'll probably use my um, my ink. I'll see which one I like better. So yeah, all those. Quite a bit. I'd say. Oops, and I'm dropping them everywhere because they're slippery. <laughs> very, very slippery. Okay, let's put them back. On to the next. Speed it up, Meg. Got other things to share. After this, I got a couple more things I want to show you. Oh, these are my favorite. Oh gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> and again, look how adorable. I mean, cutting that off, look at You could use, definitely, I'll be using this. These are so cute. Now, yes, these have the white background, but I wanted that. 
I wanted some that were see-through and some with the white background because I saw somebody do some ephemera with this like kind of because you can ink up the white I didn't want it see-through basically I didn't necessarily want the white but I didn't want it to be uh, see-through so those are just adorable so cute these are stickers yep I think I said that oh it says it on the pack look at the variety of different mushrooms and she has a lot of mushroom stuff so if you're into that I know those mushroom journals and making mushroom ephemera is pretty popular now it has been for a little minute seems like over the summer um, I saw a lot of mushroom journals and of course I still haven't made mine I was hoping somebody would come out with a gnome ephemera pack because I'm obsessed with gnomes and I'd love to combine like the mushroom and gnome theme together there's a black and white one, cool. I have indigestion. Oof, excuse me. <clears throat> that is so cool. So yeah, these are awesome. And they're they're well made stickers. So they're not like those cheapo won't work or rip on ya kinds of stickers. This was a freebie that she put in my pack. Let's see what it is. That was very kind of her to add this. So this is something she just put in there for purchasing from her shop. Very cute. Very cool. I really like these. These are cute. Super cute. Love it. Soulmate. I'm so weird. I love weird stuff. I love that one. Cool. That was very cool for her to put something in. I always think that's so nice when shops do that. And so far, every shop I've shown you... Well, not flans, but um, these more um, hometown shops always add something, and I just think that's so sweet. You know, we don't expect it from these shops, but they're just so kind to add. And you think about it, they have all these orders, and they're adding all this extra stuff, one for each person or, or more. That's a lot. And if they're just doing it for you, that's even more personable and sweet another cool background these are more um, washi type stickers and these are butterflies and these were under watercolor butterflies and you get like t a couple of each I believe it said in the description let me just, oh my sleeves will put some out here like that, use my arm here oh I got a white background I forgot alright let's just spread them around and we'll look at them I'm sorry my voice gets so hoarse after, oh, look at that pink and black. And this one, are those beautiful? Oh, love. So I have a ton of stickers, but I thought, oh, I have to have a ton of butterfly stuff. No, I don't. I don't have a ton of butterfly stuff. So I had to add these. Oh, I love that. Look how whimsical. That's cool. They're all different. And I love watercolor everything, so. Yes. Yes, please. See that? Very pretty. So those are the watercolor butterflies. And look how many you get. That's a lot. That's a lot of stickers. Can't wait to make a ephemera. If I ever get this sewing journal done. I'm having just a hard time. I had to take a few, some time off of that sewing journal. Because here's the deal. I have been learning so much that my brain gets overloaded. Um, sometimes we lose our mojo, but then when I get it back and I learn a bunch of stuff, then I feel like I'm overloaded with um, stuff and I don't even know where to start. And that's kind of where I was with that sewing journal. I had so much stuff for it. I bought way too much over the last year preparing for it and I had way too many options and then I learned way too many techniques and <laughs> you can never learn too much but I just got overloaded and I didn't know where to go and I found myself just sitting there doing nothing because I just couldn't think straight so I needed to step back from a pro the project and just you know start over and I'll get back to it probably tomorrow because I planned on having my October journals done and I didn't even start them yet so you see where I'm at in life these are my favorites so 
I got the ones with the white background, and then these are the washi. These are washi mushrooms. This is a hundred pack of washi mushrooms. Let me dump them out and I'll show you. Another cool background to use. Very cool. So you're getting extra right there. Here we go. Look at these gorgeous, gorgeous washi mushrooms. Oh my goodness. I'm in love. Oh. Look at how many there are. There's a uh, there's a hundred in here. There's big ones, little ones, and again, they are that see-through, you know. So yeah, just incredible variety. Very awesome. I could never go through all these with you, but yeah, that just gives you an idea. So if you love stickers, head on over to Wawa Stationery. I was calling it Wawa's with an S, and it, that is not true. It's Wawa. <clears throat> Wawa. <laughs> and um, she is another person who really gets back to you. I had a question, and she got back to me really soon, and she was so kind. Um, just really, really kind in her mannerisms talking to me. I thought that was... Look at that. It looks Rasta. Very cool. Yes, I'm in, oh my gosh, I'm in love with this one. Look at this one. It looks like little clouds on it. It's so cute. I know, I'm like going crazy over fungi. <laughs> but I just love mushrooms. I don't know what it is. I always have. I always have. I liked mushrooms before they were cool, okay? <laughs> I remember being in high school and always drawing mushrooms. All right, I've always had an eye for the whimsical, and to me, mushroom just screams like fairy tale or whimsical, like woodsy and woodland, and where you don't, you know, where what was I going to say? Where the gnomes live and stuff like that. Okay, and this is awesome. This is onion paper, which is amazing paper. It's so fun. It comes in this little pack, so it's small. This is my hand up against it. Um, but you get, I don't know how many pieces here, this many. And it's across, between, if you know what onion paper is, awesome. I never heard of it until I got this. Um, it's kind of undescribable, honestly. One side is smooth. You can see the lines in it. It's almost like a deli paper on one side, but the other side has a texture to it. And it's just, it's kind of see-through, but not really. It's like a hybrid between tracing paper or vellum and um, craft paper. So yeah, it's very cool. And let's see how it tears. Let's just see. For all my paper lovers out there. Ready? Oh, that was so satisfying. <laughs> it gives a beautiful edge that we love. Those torn edges are, yes, this is going to be fun. So get go get you some onion paper. I could just see this right now. Hold on, just taking my sticker. Where's that fabric? Hold on. You know I gotta do this. Okay. Get your little paper there. Rip you off a piece. Get you some. Oh my gosh, this tears like a dream. <laughs> I'm such a nerd. I know you guys are like, this lady's crazy. I know I am. And it's okay. This, oh, uh, Karen, if you're still watching, this is my favorite, favorite fabric ever, ever, ever. It's amazing. You can tell it's old. It rips like a dream. But anyways, take your fabric. You can lay your paper on top like that, right? Do some inking. 
get your mushroom, put it on there, or you could do it this way. Add a little sentiment right here. Just keep layering. Sew over it. There you go, a little snippet. Fun. I love it. I'm so excited. Or we could take our mushroom stamps and stamp on the fabric. Ooh, can we do that real quick? Will you guys still watch? <laughs> we are how long? Oh, we're an hour in. Wah, wah, wah. Well, I've been known to go to an hour and 15 minutes, haven't I? Let's just do it. I'm doing it. I'm feeling like a rebel. Because I kind of want to show you what I can do with these stamps, too. So. I don't have all my stuff out here. I just want to see if this will stamp onto the fabric. So let's pick one of these mushrooms. How about this one down here? Oh, and looky here. I just so happen to have a stamp pad. Of course, I didn't bring my block out here, but that's okay. Let's see. I'm just going to stamp it in the black. I don't have my block with me. I should have brought it out. I meant to, but I forgot. So I'm just going to stamp it. Hopefully it comes out good. Watch it not work. Because <laughs> I'm using my fingers. I haven't used this pad in a long time. It looks okay. Okay. Let's see. Okay. It came out pretty good for not having a stamp block. So it'll come out better when I have a stamp block. So that's how it came out. And then we could take, um, oh, where's my box? Kitty, you can't interrupt my video. No, Kitty. That's Eleanor Rigby. She's in rare form right now because I'm in the kitchen and she doesn't understand. Why are you in the kitchen and not feeding me? That's what she thinks every time I come in here I have to feed her. So you could take your little Zig watercolor brush and you could just color that in. Fun. So cool. Okay, I won't sit here and do the whole thing. That's just the color I had, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, it works out good. You can just color it in and make it pretty. That's so cool. Cool. And then you could... I don't have scissors either. Because <laughs> I didn't plan on doing all this, but... Okay, I ripped it in the wrong spot. But that's okay. I'm just giving a little visual here. You can either put like a colored piece of paper in there like that, or let's see if it'll stamp right on the... Let's see if it'll stamp on this. Now this I would probably need a block for, but that's okay. It's just one little piece. Get it good and inked up and cross your fingers. Let's get our fabric here. See if we can get a good image on here. Here goes nothing. It's not easy to do with your fingers on this kind of stamp at all. So I'm not good. I, I'm pretty sure it probably won't come out perfect, but we're just having some fun before I go. Oh my gosh, I love it. This fabric is awesome, and the stamp is awesome. Look at that. So you can stamp on your fabric, add this little onion paper behind. Get crazy and add another little mushroom or whatever other little sticker. Ooh, a butterfly would be cute. Add a little butterfly. I gotta get the visual here. We're gonna do it. <laughs> I just wanna play. I just wanna play. You know how that is. Get something with some color on it. How about this green one? So I could just imagine like some zigzag stitching, right? 
through there and then add like your little butterfly up here wouldn't that be so darling so cute I love it I want to go make some ephemera now what's new I always want to make ephemera <laughs> Uh, ephemera is fun. Okay, so that's how, so you see how the stamps come out? Those are Wawa stamps. They come out perfect. Doesn't matter that they're cheap. They come out perfect. Alright, and that onion paper is something else. So let me clean my stamp here. It is convenient being right next to the sink. Alright. And lastly, really quick, Half of you probably aren't here anymore, but I want to remind you guys to tell your friends, tell your mom, tell your dad about me. <laughs> I really want to get to that giveaway, you guys. I'm really itching for it. And I forgot a shop all this time we've been filming. Ugh. Um, there's one more shop I wanted to show you. It's called, I'll speed it up, Only... One Life Creations. It doesn't look like it, but it is all one word. And each word is capitalized. Only One Life Creations. All one word. Capital letters. O-O-L-C. Got it? The shop is from the Shanks family. Um, I think they've been around since 2012. They ha they've sold over 36,000 items. They're a pretty big deal. They're a discount... Um, a discount shop for uh, craft supplies, sorry. And they sell like ink pad sprays, um, like your Dilusions, your Tim Holtz, and all that kind of stuff. They sell stamps and all that. No kitty, no. And um, th right now they have Dilusions Shimmer. They're brand new. They have all those for $3 a piece. So right now they have all of their Tim Holtz stuff at the cheapest that they've ever had it. So, I am obsessed with oxide sprays and all that, and I'm trying to make my collection big, and I didn't have these colors, so I went there and I got these. These are $4 a piece, which is a good deal. Um, pomace stone, great deal, and my lids are messed up, I know, it's because I'm messy. Um, peeled paint, I got antique linen, and this was like a few weeks ago, well, maybe a month ago. Vintage photo, and then I got... Victorian Velvet, beautiful color pad. These are four, I think, or four twenty-five. And then the best part are these. So I got these reinkers, oxide reinkers, because they weren't selling these colors in the sprays, or I don't know, maybe I just wanted to buy these um, for different reasons. Okay. So one of the reasons is I like to use this for. It's cool to get the oxide reinkers because one you can re-ink your pads if you have the pads that's one way and then you can make your own spray and it goes a long way so these are pretty big bottles though but um, it's different so so to re make your own spray if you have one of these I recommend these ones there are many different kinds but I love the way these spray the mini spritzers mini misters I need to re-ink or redo this one so I'll just show you this is Tattered Rose, and what I do is I just open my reinker, shake it up really good, and you put, I think Tim Holtz, when I watched this it, like a long, long time ago, before he made his sprays, he was teaching how to make the spray out of this, and um, I think he says five, four drops. So I just squirt some in. <laughs> A little more for good measure. And then you just add some water. And then there you go. I always put a little ball in mine. I've made some over here. So this is, you can, it's almost gone because I use them so much. Uh, I gotta redo these. But I put a little bead in the bottom of mine, just a little bead. And um, let me zoom out. Sorry. Oops. What'd I do? No. I'm um, sorry. I messed you up. I think I messed with the um, thing. It's time for me to go. <laughs> um, okay. I accidentally messed with the brightness. But this is one that is Crushed Olive, which is a great color for Halloween. And Rusty Hinge is an awesome color. 
Um, these are pro probably my favorites. For backgrounds, pomace stone is one of my absolute favorites. Um, and antique linen is an all-time favorite. They're all my favorites. And vintage photos. These are my definite favorites. So, Okay, so I put a little bead in the bottom because it helps shake up that um, stuff. So let me just show you how these look when you spray it in the with this. Oh, you know what? I should do a darker color. Because I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Oops, I sprayed my counter. Yeah, that's a bad color to show on camera. Sorry, let me show you one more. This is the... Um, this is either crushed olive or shabby shutters. I forgot to bring that one out here. So this might be shabby shutters. I don't know. Nope, it's crushed olive. Or is that shabby shutters? I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, I think it's crushed olive. Isn't that cool? That is so good. I love it. You can do so much with these, you guys. I'm obsessed with You know, I can just talk about it all day. I am so obsessed with my sprays. Always shake with your tap on. Look at that color. And always wipe off your lid before you put your or wipe off your cap before you put the lid back on. But look at that. Is that not beautiful? I mean, that is so good. And then, of course, you add your water. You spray your water, and then it oxidizes. And I can't wait till October because I want to do some inking videos. Because I do a pretty good job at inking. I've I got, like, a little thing going on, a little science behind it um, that I do for all my backgrounds. And it always comes out good no matter what colors I choose. Ooh, that's overpowering, that vintage photo. But, um... Honestly, if you just add more, you can mix all these and keep building. Gosh, one thing I don't like are the lids of these. I'm not going to lie. They leak a lot. Um, I don't know why, but it's true for me anyways. Then you take your spritzer bottle. And if you are using the Tim Holtz spritzer bottle, I've showed you before, but I'll show you again if you don't know. To get a, spray, a spritz, you spritz. Just do it real quick, but if you want those big water droplets, you just take it, you pinch this, and you go really slow, like this. See how it's coming out in big drops? Hopefully you can see that. See that? Big droplets instead of the little ones. Oops, I'm not in frame, sorry. Big droplets, that's what I was showing. So yeah, so you get all this... And then what I would do at this point is I would take my heat gun and it would start oxidizing and being beautiful. Or you can take a napkin and you can just press like that and it already is doing beautiful things. I mean look how cool that looks. And I haven't even used a heat gun on it or anything so isn't that so cool? It's just so distressed and beautiful and I know these are not new you guys probably if you're watching this you probably know all about these but there are some people that don't you know use this kind of stuff or are new to this and if you're watching um, yeah that's what it is <laughs> so I think that's everything um, oh my gosh it's an hour and 15, 13 minutes so I did get this. I wanted to tell you guys this too. One more thing. If you have a Walmart next to you, these are seem to be at every one of them because I know a few people around different areas that have these. Um, I can't really get it in camera. But this tub here, okay, you can see how big it is. It's called a value pack. It's a big plastic tub. Inside of it are these little plastic tubs that are usually like a dollar. But this was, there's a ton of these left over from um, the school supplies, and they're in the clearance section for $4.99, I believe, for this whole entire thing at Walmart. And at least around me they are, and a few other towns in Michigan, so I'm going to go ahead and say they're probably at all the Walmarts. 
um, a ton of them. So go and get you one because that is a really, I think it's a good deal because basically even though these are only like a dollar a piece usually or less, you can probably get them for 50 cents, um, the big tub that comes with it is really sturdy and has a good lock on it. So basically you're getting that for free. So that's a good deal. And um, the other one, the other one, excuse me, the other thing I wanted to show you was that um, it seems like all the Michaels, I've been to a couple lately. Oh my gosh, look, I sprayed my, um, I didn't realize that I was tearing into this the whole time. I thought it was a white piece of paper, you guys. Ah. Oh. I'm stupid. <laughs> this is a print from my vintage files and um, I downloaded this because I wanted butterfly stamps and I printed off a couple of these and obviously I ripped into this one but that's okay I have the file. <laughs> stupid. Sometimes I'm stupid. <laughs> um, I did that because my goal was I was going to show you this, tell you that that is a great place to go to download um, files and I was going to show you guys this stamp on that's why I got this stamp right here was to make these look like they went through the post already so I was just going to stamp over them like that you know like they do in the mail and maybe put one of those on there so you get the point yeah that's what I was gonna do but I didn't get a chance to so anyways <laughs> that's okay you get the picture right um, and then at Michael's, last but not least, at Michael's um, in the clearance, they have uh, these, wood, if you like wooden block stamps, I love old school wooden block stamps, they're my favorite. Um, so I have a good collection of them and I always get them when they're on sale because they can be quite pricey. This one was like 17 bucks normally, which is crazy. But yeah, it was like $3. So I got two of them because there was only two. So I will be giving one away. Um, we'll talk about that at a different time. But yeah, brand new stamps. I'll give one of these away some way or another. I have a lot of stuff to give away, so keep watching. And then this one, I love. I think these are what hydrangeas or something. Is that what they're called? I think. But they're, they're like my favorite. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh. I have to stamp it now. see what it looks like and then we'll go <laughs> well I hope this video wasn't too bad compared to normally I say it went okay normally I'm bumbling way worse than this huh <laughs> but it is a quite long video so if you stuck around I would like to just tell you thank you so much please go see the um, visit these shops on Etsy if you have extra money buy something and support their uh, business and help them grow. Look how beautiful that just stamped. I mean, come on. That is stunning. Yes, these are great stamps. This is Hero Arts. Yeah, that is beautiful. It even looks shimmery almost. So gorgeous. I can't wait to use this. Ah, I'm so excited. So yes, so go visit Wawa Stationery. Only One Life Creations, Flans, where's my girl at? And last but not least, my favorite, Memes Thrift Teak. Memes Thrift Teak. <laughs> Go see Karen, buy something from her, give her the heart. I love you guys so much. Thank you for visiting and seeing all my goodies. Help me get to 200. I'm not going to quit bugging you. I really want to have a giveaway, you guys. Have a blessed and beautiful day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, everybody.